In our gospel today, we hear Jesus say, Whoever comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even life itself, cannot be my disciple. Our feast today provides a great story for what those words mean. Euphrosyne was born back in the 5th century, was an only child. And as such, her father, Paphnutius, arranged a marriage for her with a well-to-do young man of a very prominent family. But this wasn't the life that Eurosine wanted for herself. She wanted a deep and spiritual life coming from her faith. So she came up with a solution to her problem. She ran away from home, took on a new identity as a young man named Smaragdus, and joined a monastery. Now, if Jesus' words seem a little harsh to you today, don't worry, because the story has a happy ending for everyone. It turns out that Paphnutius felt tremendous guilt about what happened with Eurosine. And so he turned to the monastery for help. The abbot there placed Paphnutius under the care of Smaragdus for spiritual direction. And Paphnutius asked Smaragdus, for guidance in how to live a spiritual life. And Smaragdus gave him instruction for many, many years. Now, eventually, Smaragdus fell ill. And it was only then that Paphnutius realized the truth, that he realized the truth about his spiritual director's true identity. He realized that he'd been reunited with his daughter this whole time. And he nursed Smaragdus until the end of his child's life. And then Paphnutius followed in his child's footsteps, taking Smaragdus' place in the life of the monastery. We are called to put Jesus first in our lives, always. And we do that in the hope that others, even those in our own family, will follow us in that vocation so that one day we might be able to truly claim that we belong to Christ Jesus and to Jesus Christ alone.